So here today we will revisit the Pacific Rim universe and showcase 17 kaijus that were not seen in the movies or the anime series Black. Some of these are pretty awesome and deadly. So watch till the end as we will take you deeper into kaiju lore than anyone ever has. So let's get to it. Number 1. Meathead Seen in the Pacific Rim Tales from Year Zero, this is one of the first ever kaijus to ever emerge from the breach and battles to the death against Horizon Brave. The kaiju has two curved horns on its head. It also has four legs and a tail that appears to have three pincers at the end. Number 2. Etak This is a kaiju that emerged from the breach in July 21st of 2016 and attacked Tokyo but was killed by a combined effort of two Jaegers, Tasset Ronin and Coyote Tango. Itak is a kaiju with six arms, four of which are appendages with curved blades. And it also has three eyes on each side of its face. Its upper body is little more than a skeletal frame and its skin is black. And on top of its head is a single narrow horn that is spear-like and curves upwards. Number 3. Rekona This is a very large kaiju that attacked Hong Kong in 2016 and was killed in the city by the military. Although not much is known about its appearance, its skull is seen to be bulbous and a small town has emerged on its skeleton, capitalizing on the kaiju organ harvesting and also its worship. Number 4. Hammerhorn Hammerhorn is one of three kaijus that attacked Australia. It is quadrupedal, meaning it walks on all four and has a pale blue skin along with a long tongue. Its face features two eyes on each side and it boasts outward protruding teeth around its mouth. Hammerhorn possesses a robust forehead with three horns that extend from its head, which it uses as a formidable ramming tool against its adversaries, especially other Jaegers. Number 5. Jawhide Jawhide is one of the bipedal kaijus that attacked Australia. Characterized by its crocodilian features, it possesses a sturdy build, short legs and elongated armored arms with three fingers each, including a prominent central claw, to which it can flip the bird. With four eyes and an extended snout, Jawhide's mouth and armor enhances its bite strength, capable of piercing even the toughest Jaeger armor materials. Number 6. Fright Crawler Fright Crawler is a Category 5 kaiju and exhibits a segmented worm-like body with multiple legs and small spines on its back. What sets Fright Crawler apart from other kaijus is its bilateral symmetry, featuring a head on each side of its body. Remarkably, each head commands one half of the body and functions autonomously, granting Fright Crawler the remarkable ability to regenerate into two distinct entities if physically separated. 7. Ferno This is one of three kaiju seen in Pacific Rim Shadow Dome Strike. Ferno is a bipedal kaiju that is shown to be more into the lines of the fire element as opposed to the other two. It has five horns, four on the skull facing backwards and one on the snout like a rhino and it can spit corrosive saliva. Number 8. Tundra this kaiju is the opposite in powers of Ferno. While the former is of a fiery nature, Tundra, as the name suggests, has ice powers and can breathe an icy freezing breath to attack humans with. It is also bipedal with a rocky armored skin and several sharp horny stone outgrowths on the face. Number 9. Thunderhead This is the third kaiju that was seen in the Pacific Rim Shadow Dome Strike. It is also bipedal in nature and has a segmented armor-like skin. It also possesses four eyes, a very big mouth, and two curved horns. Its special abilities or powers is electromagnetic emission, kind of like that of Leatherback, which it can use to disable electronic equipments, including those that are seen in the Jaegers. Number 10. Himantura This kaiju known as Himantura is an unrealized concept in the kaiju universe. It was created, but it was unused. It is said that Himantura is a fusion of a stingray and a switchblade, making it the most extraterrestrial looking kaiju among all of them, resembling that of the precursors. Himantura has the unique ability to fold or expand its body, creating the illusion of being three distinct creatures within one. Number 11. Kamesan This kaiju Kamesan is also called Thunderhead for some reason, but predates the one seen in the Shadow Dome Strike. It seems to possess long tentacles or maybe it was arms, that it uses to swim at high speeds. Seen in the comics Tales from the Drift, this kaiju attacks a submersible that was tracking it as it emerged from the breach. 
but it was later killed by Brawler Yukon after a devastating fight. Number 12, Ragnit. Ragnit is a kaiju that looks kinda like an ant, with six arms equipped with sharp claws that emerged in 2024. It emits a bioluminescent blue light all around its body, which primarily emanates from its abdomen and thorax. Ragnit's head stands out with a massive jaw comprised of 19 parts and has a total of 28 eyes. Number 13, Spine Jackal. This is a category 4 kaiju that emerged and attacked Sydney but was later killed by striker Eureka. Spine Jackal was a tall, grey skinned kaiju with bioluminescent traces emitting from its mouth and its countless eyes. And when I say countless, there are a lot of them. It also has a jaw with mandibles and it also walked upright. Number 14, Sulfuri. Sulfuri is a kaiju of an undetermined category and attacked Seattle. Sulfuri is a bulky brown kaiju with thick skin and two blue eyes. And on its head, it has six horn-like structures. In its body, it has four arms and plates on their elbows. It was killed in the city, but the Jaeger that defeated it was for some reason unknown. Number 15, Tarantulas. This is a category 3 kaiju and is a decapital monster with spider-like traits, meaning it has 10 arms. Its body is round and green skin, with a bumpy texture on the surface of its lower back. It has 5 pairs of segmented legs that have sharp ends. Its face has a total of 8 eyes, 4 small ones in the front and 1 large eye on each side and a set of pincers near its mouth. Number 16, Verocitor. This, okay, this is a simulated kaiju and not a real one. But we will also include this one and another one in this list. It appears in the Jaeger Academy for recruits to train with while simulating Jaeger piloting. It appears to look reptilian with a large mouth and four legs as well as having a very long tail. Its body is filled with sharp spines and bony outgrowths. And number 17, Bellabog. This is another simulated kaiju seen in the Jaeger Academy. It is set for the same role as the other one. Bellabog's appearance is different though. It is a mixture of a crustacean and an insect. Its broad shell protects everything from the head down. It walks on multiple short legs and uses pincers as a means to attack its enemies during melee combat, especially the Jaegers. So that's all we have on the 17 missing kaijus from the Pacific Rim movies and the anime. So these are seen in comics and other works, basically. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash the bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.